POI provides evidence for employee investment claims, ensuring tax benefits. Great HR streamlines releasing, managing POI forms, and pushing them for payroll, simplifying the investment process. In this video, we will talk about how to fast-track the POI process on Great HR. Navigate to Payroll, Admin, POI Overview. On this page, as an admin, you can customize POI settings, release, manage, review, consider, reject, lock, and delete POI declaration forms. Each of these tabs displays the status of employees' POI. The yet to be released tab shows all the employees for whom the POI form is yet to be released. The release tab provides information about all the employees for whom the POI form has already been released. Under pending for review, you can find all the submitted POI forms of employees pending review. The pending for payroll tab displays all the employees for whom the POI is reviewed and can be considered for payroll. Considered for payroll shows the list of employees for whom the POI is completed. Let's come back to the yet to be released tab. Now, from here you can filter the employees as per the tax regime. You can either select any one of the regimes or both. The active tab shows the lists of active employees with pending POI. The resign tab displays a list of employees who have resigned, including those in the notice period who can still submit their POI by clicking here. You can download and export the details into Excel for each tab. Tailor your search using these options. Use Bulk Select for multiple employees and the Individual Details button for individual ones. Now, to release the POI declaration select the employees from the list. Select Release and click Submit. The release pop-up appears. Now set the due date and click Release. The POI form will be released to the selected employee. Auto lock date securely freezes proof of investment declarations, blocking submissions, or access afterward. However, if you miss setting this date you can always come back here and select the employee and set the lock date. Now that it has been released, employees will receive a notification on their ESS portal to submit their proof documents. Click on the description below to know how the employees will submit their POI form. Coming to the Release tab. From here, first, you select the employees, select Remind, and click Submit. Now, enter your remarks, and click Remind. The selected employees will be reminded to declare POI, the Reject POI, and Lock option allows you to clear or reject the IT savings that are declared for the payroll process. To do so, Select the employees, select the reject POI and lock option and click submit. Now, from this pop-up ensure to select all three options and click confirm. The selected employee's POI will be moved to the pending for payroll tab. Like I said earlier we can change auto lock due date from here. Using this option you can delete the POI form. By deleting. All the changes made to the POI records will be deleted and the record will be moved to the yet to be released tab. The left organization column displays the status of the employees who have left the organization for error-free tax computation. When an employee is marked as left without considering the POI, you can only delete their POI record, no other actions are available. Now, let's explore what's brewing in the pending for review tab. To consider POI, Select the employee and click View Form. You will be redirected to the Overview tab of the Review POI page and can view all the items that the employee has declared. Click here to view all the details and attachments of the selected POI component. Click Approve or Reject and add remarks. Adding remarks when rejecting a declaration helps the employee to make corrections and resubmit the form. Click Yes to approve the POI component. Similarly, review all the components. Click Review and Consider. You will be redirected to the Overview tab of the Review POI page. Click Consider POI. Click Confirm. The POI form moves to the Pending for Payroll tab. You can also download the proofs. 
Let's shift gears and explore the pending for payroll tab. From here you can re-release the POI declaration form to employees who need to update or modify the existing information. Push to payroll enables you to push the eligible records for income tax calculations. Ensure to process the payroll and recalculate the income tax. Choose the review again option if you want to review the selected employee's record again before considering it for payroll. Under Considered for Payroll tab, you can customize your search by using the Has Employee Declared filter. You can re-release or review again the POI declaration forms. The Reconsider POI option lets you reassess previous employee declarations, even if the form is already considered for payroll. With this, we've reached the end of the video. Hope with this step-by-step -step explanation, you can find it easy to manage POI declarations. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more valuable insights and videos. Please remember to subscribe, and like to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos. If you're new to Great HR, start your journey for free by clicking the link in the description below.